Welcome to our hairdressing and barbering level 2, health and safety courses. In this topic 3, we look at preventing infection. Introduction Effective hygiene is essential in any hair salon or barber's shop to prevent cross-infection and secondary infection. These can occur through poor practices, such as the use of equipment that is not sterile. This session focuses on good hygiene practice. 1. Cross-infection and secondary infection. 2. Contra-indications to salon services. 3. Methods of sterilizing and sanitizing equipment. Cross-infection. Cross-infection occurs because some microorganisms are contagious, and may be transferred through personal contact, or contact with infected equipment that is not being sterilized. There are, two obvious methods of how disease can spread. It is either. 1. Introduced to the salon by someone who cross-infects other people in the salon. 2. Through poor hygiene and cleanliness within the salon. Cross-infection. Either situation provides a health hazard to staff and customers, and it is your job to help minimize the risk of infection and prevent disease from spreading. Secondary infection can occur as a result of injury to the client, say during a shaving service by a barber. If the client has an open cut, bacteria can penetrate the skin and cause infection. Typical methods for preventing infection would be Sterilization, a procedure that destroys harmful microorganisms. Sanitation, eliminating the most harmful microorganisms which could cause bacterial, viral and fungal infection. Cross-infection. An infectious disease that is contagious is often a contraindication to other salon services and may need medical attention. It is your job to be alert and to look for signs of contraindications, so that it doesn't present a hazard to anyone else. What is a contraindication? It is something that will prevent a salon service from being carried out. Typical contraindications are Head lice, an animal parasite that lives and multiplies on the scalp and feeds on the host's blood. MP tigo, a bacterial infection affecting facial skin, around the mouth, showing pus-filled spots and sores. Scalp ringworm, a fungal disease affecting the scalp, where the mycelium grows through the upper layers of the skin. Personal hygiene Personal hygiene is the first starting point for maintaining healthy and safe working practices. Hands should be washed before every client. Any skin problems, cuts or boils must be covered with a waterproof dressing. Disposable gloves should be worn for shampooing to eliminate contact with chemicals and for customers' safety. Clean, washable overalls must be worn and must be changed daily. Dirty overalls should be washed on a high temperature wash program. Question. Which of the following would be described as cross infection? Question. Which of the following would be described as a contraindication? True or false? Sterilization kills all harmful microorganisms. Sterilization provides the most effective way of providing hygienically safe work implements in salons. Sterilization means the complete eradication of living organisms. Different types of equipment use different sterilization methods, these are based on 1. Heat. An autoclave boils water in a pressurized cylinder to 121 to 134 degrees Celsius. 2. Radiation. A quartz mercury vapor lamp produces ultraviolet, in a UV cabinet, to kill microorganisms. 3. Chemicals. Glutaraldehyde is a disinfectant destroying most harmful microorganisms, or hypochlorite also a disinfectant, but similar to bleach. The most popular method of sanitation in a salon or barber's shop is achieved by immersing small items of personal equipment i.e. combs, brushes etc. into a chemical sterilizer. True or false, 
sanitation kills all harmful microorganisms. Disinfection and sterilization procedures. All equipment once used should be disinfected or sterilized before reuse and should be divided into plastic items and metal items. The plastic items should be rinsed and all hair removed. Any items contaminated by blood must be handled with care to ensure that the contaminated area does not come into contact with any broken skin. These should then be placed in a solution of disinfectant until required. The metal equipment should be sterilized, ideally in an autoclave or UV cabinet. Disinfection and Sterilization Procedures Autoclaves may be automatic and go through a cycle with appropriate holding times, otherwise, the times and temperatures shown in the table must be achieved to ensure total sterilization. Not all objects can be safely placed in an autoclave, so check before using this method. An alternative to an autoclave is to boil all equipment for 30 minutes in a boiler specially designed for instruments. Typical temperatures and holding times are At 121 degrees Celsius hold for 15 minutes At 126 degrees Celsius hold for 10 minutes At 134 degrees Celsius hold for 3 minutes Sanitation Procedures Antiseptics provide a milder alternative to sterilization. An antiseptic prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. It has a limited action and does not kill all microorganisms. Because it is milder than a sterilizer, it can be used on the skin. Question. Which is an example of a chemical disinfectant? Question. Which is an example of a chemical disinfectant? Question. If an autoclave is used at a height temperature of 134 degrees Celsius, how long will it take to sterilize the equipment? True or false, you can sterilize any small equipment items in an autoclave. Well done, in the session you found out how to use hygienic methods for preventing cross-infection and disease in hairdressing salons and barbers shops. You covered cross-infection and secondary infection, contraindications to salon services, methods of sterilizing and sanitizing equipment.